I'm Naz from Art Club. Wellbeing to me would be taking time for yourself to create and maybe learn a new craft. My favourite thing that I make in the background is pom-poms, so I would be busy making those. You could be doing a painting, reading a book. It's just taking time to express yourself and immerse yourself in something creative. A favourite book of mine growing up was The Hungry Caterpillar. It was full of so much creativity, lots of lovely colours and the illustrations were just beautiful. There was The Hungry Caterpillar obviously eating lots of different foods and eventually got to look after itself, be more healthy, look after its well-being and eventually turned into a beautiful butterfly. You could create your own sock caterpillar and make lots of lovely food for it to eat. Just remember to add some healthy food so it'll be able to grow into a beautiful butterfly. The library was always a place for me to meet friends, to find out about new artists and to travel without leaving my seat. I always wondered about the hundreds of books that were there and who was going to take out the book that I put back in next. I always liked the idea of a book not being lonely because I was reading it. My favourite quote from Eric Carle, the Hungry Caterpillar book creator, was Ever since I was very young, as far back as I can remember, I have loved making pictures. I knew, even as a child, that when I grew up, I would be an artist of some kind. The lovely feeling of my pencil touching paper, a crayon making a star shape, in my sketchbook, or my brush dipping into bright and colourful paints. These things affect me joyfully today as they did all those years ago. So today we are going to be making something different using odd socks, which all, all my socks always go missing. You're going to be creating a sock, socky pillar today, sock caterpillar, socky pillar. Um, so just some simple materials needed and you'll be able to give your odd socks a new lease of life and create a little friend. So today we're going to be creating your own little sock caterpillar. So we're using odd socks, all the socks when they go to your washing machine and get lost, you can use them and create something really cute and wonderful to keep. This is Bert here and this is Buddy. Really simple materials needed to create these sock caterpillars. There's lots of different designs here, and wonderful ones that you can use. So using some things from around your home and you may have some other creative pieces lying around that you can use. Okay, you need a scissors, a pipe cleaner or some garden wire, anything to decorate it with like pom-poms my favourite or something else, three hair bands or um, elastic bands or even string to tie depending on the size of your sock you may need more, an odd sock, some scrap bits of fabric or felt and then something to stuff the sock caterpillar with to make it nice and squidgy. You can use an old pillow, if you don't have that you could use some odd, odd socks to put inside or even some scrap fabric cut up. The other thing you could use is some cotton wool balls, there's lots of different things you can use for the stuffing. So you also need something to glue it with. That could just be some tape. It could be PVA glue or fabric glue. Today I've got a glue gun just to make things a little bit quicker. Right, let's get started with our make. So Bert, Bert and Buddy are just going to go to the side a moment. Okay, so first of all, get, take your sock, take some stuff in. Aerate it is really important, so you want to get lots into it. Make that into a ball and stuff inside. And do that and get that all the way to the end because that's going to be the head. So you want quite a bit of stuff in, in this top piece. And that's going to be the head of your sock caterpillar. So keep going until you've got that as a head. Once you're happy with that, then you take a headband or an elastic band or tie. So you can form it with your hands just to get a really nice shape. Take your hairband or your bobble, whatever you have to tie. 
and just tie around the head nice and close to the top push that along and make sure you've got it as tight as you can and this will make all the difference later on okay so once you've got your head then you need to create your body shape again stuff right down push into place and keep going until you've got your body coming into space you can just give it a good kind of shape on the outside and that creates your next piece of body for your sock caterpillar and you might find depending on the sock you use you may need more than three bobbles or ties it just depends as you're making along that's your next piece then stuff your next part of your body so keep going so keep going with your tie-in so that's the sock body nice and close together and then you can probably fit one more little body if you like so it's dependent on your design you decide what body shape that is going to have for this one I'm sure you can even use a pipe cleaner so just you can cut your pipe cleaner in half and just tie around the edge so whatever you've got to hand you'll be able to use to tie your sock caterpillar And the body shape should get smaller as you're going along like so so that's your sock caterpillar body so next you want to give your sock caterpillar a little bit of character so we need to get some eyes on it here so either with googly eyes you can stitch on them if you like as well so it's completely up to you what type of eyes you choose for your sock caterpillar for this one I'm just going to do some simple cut eyes you could even use paper if you haven't got fabric to hand and cut some shapes yourself so just cut two shapes And then once you've got the white, you want to cut either black or a different colour for the pupils. I like mine looking slightly to the side, like Buddy there. So then just cut around. And create your eyes. Once you've cut the one shape, you can put it on top of the other and use it as a template. tidy those up and then stick them on so you can stitch them on if you don't want to glue this is just to make it a little bit quicker today okay And then I usually place the eyes on the heel of the sock. Oh, sorry, not the heel, the front of the sock, the toe of the sock here, because you usually get a different colour. So it'll just start to come alive with a little face. And if you decide to, you could stitch a mouth or you can add a mouth on with some scrap fabric. so and then again just add some glue be very careful if you're using anything 
with hot glue so make sure you have somebody help you but again you can use fabric glue and if you have more time you can stitch it on as well so there we are a lovely character and what's left then I think there's a really kind sock caterpillar so I usually give them a little heart and then a little added bit of decoration which I'll show you next I'm going to place a heart on here so there's a lovely heart it's a lovely kind creature here and then the antenna is the fun bit so you can place this around the head in half twist in place and then it's up to you what shape you make so whether you curl them in or out completely up to you so you might like them that way instead so there's your antenna and the only thing left to do then is add some decoration so whether you add a hat or a flower you could add cut shapes on top and patterns or even pom-poms my favorite so we'll just add a few little pom-poms on top but again whatever you've got to hand if it is paper or other items you want to stick on that's completely fine and again you could stitch these on if you have more time let's take the glue so all of a sudden you have a lovely little sock caterpillar then you have to decide on a name and you can even make a little adoption certificate. So I think this, she looks like a Betty. So this one is going to be called Betty. Um, the different socks you use, if you use baby socks or child socks are going to be much smaller. So you can even make a lovely little family of sock caterpillars. If you want to make a leaf to go with it it's just a simple trace the design draw a design and again like we've done the collage for the birds and the other designs you can just add lots of paper and collage on top one here I've done just with a piece of scrap cardboard and we've made it with some book paper over the top so just lots of collage and a, and a glue stick so rip paper and go for it um, there's lots of different designs I love creating these sock caterpillars so you can just go mad with them and I really look forward to seeing what you create. 